Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about an innocent bystander killed by a Baldwin Park gang member after a dispute and verbal altercation with rival gang members. On December 2nd, 2017, at the Gem City Grill in Monrovia, California, Michael Lowe was at the bar having a good time when the rival gang of Baldwin Park gangster Jeremiah LaCroix left the bar and returned with the gun. Hostilities were re-engaged and Jeremiah shot three people, one of them fatally. Jeremiah began shooting inside the crowded bar after he and William LaCroix Jr. engaged in a verbal confrontation with members of a rival gang. LaCroix was, however, not involved in the fight. Michael was struck and killed while two members of the rival gang were injured. Jeremiah fled the scene in a white four-door sedan with an unidentified man. Another gang member, Jacob Webb, helped LaCroix escape authorities the night of the shooting. LaCroix Jr. and Erica Torres were arrested by Monrovia police as they fled from the restaurant and bar after the shooting and originally charged with murder, as was co-defendant Al Coro. A judge dismissed the murder charges against them based on a change in state law on consequences for aiders and abettors. On that Saturday afternoon, a SWAT team responded to the 200 block of Olive Avenue, just a block away from the scene of the shooting. Officers were seen surrounding a resident going door to door in the area. LaCroix turned himself in to authorities in Banning the day after the shooting. His father and mother, Anna Guerrero, were accused of helping their younger son avoid arrest. They both pleaded to one count of being an accessory after the fact and were sentenced to 156 days in jail and three years probation. Other defendants were convicted as accessories, including 31-year-old Jacob Webb and Vanessa Michelle Gomez. Webb was sentenced to two years in prison time and Gomez was sentenced to six months in jail and three years probation. Police said it was a coincidence that members of two rival gangs wound up in the same bar. During the trial, LaCroix's defense attorney claimed that LaCroix was using it legitimately to defend himself even though he's prohibited from possessing a gun. The defense attorney said there was no evidence that his client deliberately provoked the incident, but the prosecutor disputed the defense's contention that LaCroix fired in self-defense, telling jurors that LaCroix, who has 10 gang tattoos, had murder on his mind. The prosecutor called it a stone-cold first-degree murder, and cited surveillance video from inside the bar and urging the jury to convict LaCroix. In the end, Jeremiah LaCroix was convicted by a jury of second-degree murder, attempted voluntary manslaughter, an assault with a semi-automatic firearm in connection with the December 2nd, 2017 shooting that killed Michael Lowe, a 43-year-old Monrovia father of two. Michael received an indeterminate term of 15 years to life for the murder, plus 25 years to life for the firearm enhancement, plus an additional 10 years for the gang enhancement.